Hello and welcome. This is U.S. Trademark Attorney Eric Kelly. In this video, I will show you the process of electronically filing a response to a USPTO office action in a U.S. Federal Trademark Registration application as of March 2023. So this process could change in the future if the USPTO changes their, their filing um, response system. In any event, let's get into this. Okay, so you basically have a US federal trademark registration application that's been prepared and filed at the USPTO, so it's pending. And from you know from the filing date, it may be three months, four, five, six, seven, eight months or so. At some point, you may get what's called an office action from the USPTO's employee who's examining your trademark registration application. That's generally going to be what we typically call a USPTO examining attorney. And they're just an employee of the trademark office of the USPTO. As they examine your trademark registration application, they may find some issues, some problems that have to be correct. And if that, if that happens during this examination phase, which again, it can happen anywhere from month three to maybe month eight or so after the filing date, that USPTO examining attorney is gonna generate an office action, what's called a USPTO office action, generally what would be a first and non-final office action. And then that's generally gonna be sent to the applicant or the applicant's attorney, and that's generally sent uh, via email. So you may receive an office action at some point. And then, you know, obviously what you need to do if that happens is you first need to read and understand the office action, office action. and in particular, you wanna make sure that you calendar the deadline when you need to respond to that office action. Uh, in the past, you generally had six months to respond to an office action, but now the current rule as, as of like March 2023 is you generally have three months uh, to respond to an office action from the date of the office action, but you now you can get up to a three-month extension. In any event, you want to make sure you understand the deadline, and then you also want to need to make sure you understand what, what are the issues that were are raised by that USPTO examining attorney in that office action. Sometimes the issues raised in an office action are, are fairly trivial, fairly minor, and relatively easy to address and fix. And sometimes they're more complicated to address. And sometimes the issue, issues raised could be just you know fatal and kill the application altogether. So it just depends upon the issues that are raised. But in any event, once you've received the office action, once you've read and understood it, and assuming that there is a, a response pathway, a, a way to move forward and get around that office action by responding to it, then generally, you know, the trademark attorney is going to prepare that response. And then once the response is prepared, then you essentially you have to get it filed with the USPT, USPTO in that particular pending trademark application. So in short, at that point, you basically need to log into your My USPTO account at the USPTO.gov website. And if you don't already have an account, a My USPTO account, you're going to need to create one. And then once you've logged in, you need to select the proper USPTO online kind of web uh, response form to actually click into and start answering the questions that are pertaining to that, responding to that office action. And depending on the issues raised in, in that office action, you may have to upload some documents. You may have to upload uh, your arguments uh, to, to address whatever issues were raised in the office action. You may have to upload your evidence. And then once you've answered the questions in that online form and uploaded any files you needed to do, you then basically want to review everything you've prepared for your submission, which is generally called the validation step in this overall process, and then you're going to submit it. So I'll go ahead and show you an exact example of that whole process of actually filing the response at the USPTO, but I'm not going to go over how you actually prepare the response itself to a particular office action, as that's going to vary from office action to office action, depending upon what issues are raised. I'm only going to address kind of the mechanical protocol or process of logging into the to my, my USPTO account and uploading any, any necessary files to do a response to the office action. So let's get into that. Okay, so we are at the USPTO's website. This is where we're going to start this process from, USPTO.gov. Okay. And then we have to log into an account to basically file the response to the office action in the given trademark. So to do that, you have to click on the My USPTO link up here. And obviously, before you can even log into an account, you have to create the account. So we'll, we'll click on My USPTO. 
And then you can see right here, if you need an account, you can follow this button over here. But because I'm, you know, a patent and trademark attorney, I already have an account with the USPTO. So I'll be, I'm gonna log in with my account. So I enter my email address, and then I'll be entering my password, click sign in. And then I'll, from my email, I'll receive another code because the USPTO uses a two-factor authentication, which is pretty standard these days. So hit next, then I have to jump over to my email to grab the authentication code. Okay, so I'll hit verify, and this should log me into my USPTO account. Okay, so then, at least on, on my user interface, this is how it looks currently as of March 2023 when it loads up. And this is the trademark section over here. And basically we're gonna be responding to correspondence from the USPTO, which is basically we're responding to a first and non-final office action. So I'll click this drop down right here. Respond to office action from law office examining attorney. That's what we're gonna to want to click. And then I wanna be entering the serial number for this particular trademark registration application. Then I'm gonna click continue. Okay, so then you need to look through the, the information that loads and make sure you're in the actual trademark registration application that you want to be in, and I am. So then you have to scroll down to these questions and you have to respond to the particular question um, that is answering or raising whatever issues were raised in that particular office action. So for this, the particular office action that we're responding to for this trademark registration application, we did have a likely to cause confusion with other marks particular issues. So I'll click yes to this particular number one. And I'll just scroll down and pause for a minute on these others, just so you can, you can pause the screen and look at them to see what other kind of common issues that can be raised. But for us, we don't have to deal with any of these others for this particular um, office action, responding to this particular office action. So I'm gonna click continue. And depending upon which of those questions you answered yes to, the, the, this page here that loads could be different. So for me, I'm gonna be uploading some files. I'm gonna upload basically my arguments file and then my evidence file. I'm gonna do that all through this particular link here or button. So then I'm going to browse, you know, my system to find the files I want. I'm going to attach them and I'll return back to the form. Okay. So I've uploaded four files, basically my arguments file and then three evidence files are all PDF files. I'm going to click attach, which I've actually already done. So then I click return to form. And then in this text box, I'm going to just describe the files that I've uploaded. Okay, so I've entered some text here to describe the four different files, the four different PDF files that I've uploaded as my, basically my overall response to this current first and non-final office action. Now, whatever you write there, it, it's gonna vary depending on your own particular situation. And again, this might, even be, might not even be the particular web page that you, you would see depending upon the questions you answered on the previous screen. But this is what we're going to do for this for responding to this particular office action and this trademark. So now I'm ready to click continue. And then the, here you can enter another email address if you wanted to. But I already have my my email address, attorney email address, a record here. So this is fine for me. So I'll just click continue. And this is basically where I sign. So if I was the owner, I would be clicking this field. But it's because I'm the um, attorney of record, the trademark attorney of record for this trademark application, I'll be clicking this particular button and then basically signing. And when you sign things electronically at the USPTO, it's basically a forward slash, then your name, then you another forward slash. So that's an electronic signature at the USPTO. And then my name, then my role, and I'm just the attorney of record. And my phone number, then we'll go into the, the validate or basically the review screen, make sure everything is correct. So, from here, because we uploaded files, I'm gonna click on this evidence link first, make sure that the files I uploaded were actually uploaded. So it shows me my four files. I'm gonna go ahead and click on each one of these just to make sure it's what I wanted to, to be. Okay, so I verified that these are all the files I want. Get out of this particular screen. Next, I'll click on the input data to make sure it's all accurate. So I'll review this and I make sure that this is the actual trademark registration application that I want to be in. I can see the four different files that I've uploaded. 
I can see that my description for the files, my attorney a record information that I've signed. So all this looks good. You can save this information if, if you want for reference as well. So everything looks good so that we can basically submit this. Click this little button here, click submit. And that's it, we've filed a response to an office action in a US trademark registration application. I'm then gonna save the filing receipt here and but otherwise we're, we are done with this process. Here's the filing receipt. So I've saved this as a PDF file for my records and for, for a co client copy. Okay, let's wrap up this video. So in summary, we saw how to file, electronically file a response to a USPTO office action in a pending US federal trademark registration application. And we did not go over how to actually prepare the, the substantive response, you know, what goes into that response. We just looked at the steps for filing the response at the USPTO's website. And here's my, you know, contact information and information about me. Again, I'm US trademark attorney, Eric Kelly. I do work with clients all over the world and all over the United States. As noted, I am a trademark attorney, but I also handle patents and copyrights. I'm also a patent attorney and a copyright attorney. Trademarks deal with protecting your brands. Patents deal with protecting your inventions, your new, your novel and non-obvious products. And copyrights deal with protecting your creative works. And creative works are things like photographs and videos and music and things of that nature. And then lastly, you can see some contact information for me if you want to reach out and get a hold of me regarding intellectual property matters. Thank you. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel to help me reach others about intellectual property matters. And here's some suggested videos of mine on U.S. trademark issues. Thank you.